you know, you see Peter's boldness. What a great statement that Jesus says. He says, hey, one of you, are you're going to deny, you're going to be offended of me, all men. You should, he, he says that, you're going to, that I'm going to go before you. He says, before the cock crows, Peter, you're going to make a mistake. You're going to deny me not just once, but thrice. I love the confidence of Peter. He was so bold. He was so, so uh, uh, zealous so confident. He stood there and he's like, I will not deny thee. He even doubled down. He says, I will never be offended of thee. You know, I I, I heard like, what is this saying? It says, never say never, uh, famously said by Justin Bieber. But um, he says, never, he said, never, I will not offend you. I will not deny you. I will not go against you. You know, I love how God, Jesus understands and knows our shortcomings, but he still demonstrates grace to us. You know how Peter he, Jesus knew that he probably had fear. Peter probably, Jesus probably knew that he still had some faith that's lacking in his life, but yet he shows so much love and grace. You know, he does that so much to us. But Peter, with that zeal and his confidence, you know, he had so much confidence in himself more than he had confidence in Christ. You know, Jesus is the one that says, hey, you're going to deny me. Don't you think that you would believe the Savior? <laughs> okay, God, you're, you're probably right. <laughs> I am frail. You're the one that created me. You're the one that's been leading me. And I've seen miracles and, and, and you're connected with, with the almighty God. But yet I have more confidence in myself. You know, good intentions don't always produce good results. You know, Peter had so many good intentions. I would not deny you. I would even die for you. I, w- I, would, I would not uh, turn my back on you, God. I would not betray you. You know, so often we have so many good intentions in our life. Good intentions to maybe do better personally. Maybe good intentions to do better spiritually. Maybe good intentions of service. Maybe good intentions of, of our worship. But you know what? Our good intentions don't always result in good results. You know, our, God, our, our good intentions can, also, can often cause us to see our, cannot, that we cannot even see our own blind spots. We may think our good intentions cover up our faults. You ever had a a friend or maybe an interaction where you had good intentions to help somebody and you were just saying it, saying it just to kind of whoop, maybe dodge it, dodge the point. I don't actually really want to help them, but my good intentions made me look like I wanted to help them. Maybe deep down you wanted to, but you knew it was not going to happen. You know, sometimes our good intentions can cause us not to see our own blind spots you know, Jesus walked with, with love with Peter. You know, after his, his stance of Peter said unto him, though I should die with thee, yet shall I not deny thee. Likewise also they shall, said all the disciples. Jesus didn't look at him and say, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, sometimes God allows us to learn lessons the hard way. Sometimes he allows us to, lose, to, to learn the lessons that are more difficult. You know, we see, why did Peter deny um, how, oh, how did Peter deny? We see that Jesus' betrayal in, in 47, but we also see uh, Peter's denial, Peter's failure. Peter's failure in verse 69 says, Now Peter sat within the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied uh, before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said it unto the porch that were, were there, this fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they, that stood by and said to Peter, surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech bereath thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the words of Jesus, which said to him, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. You know, Jesus's, Jesus's prediction <laughs> Jesus' foretelling, it came true. You know this, Jesus' words never are wrong. Even if what he says is not what we want to hear. You know, we always hold on to Jesus' promises of, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. But you know, some of the hard truths that Jesus says, it's true. Peter didn't hold on to it. But look at this. 
Peter's failure, he sat there and, and he, he said, but he denied before the all men saying, thou art thou, the, the, I know not what thou sayest. They, the people that are around him and during the trials that Jesus is, is, is on, the people around him are looking and saying, hey, I, I think I've seen you at, during the miracles. I think I've seen you walking with him. I think you've been with him. And in and, and his, and his heart, I don't, I don't know why Peter denied him. Maybe it was because of fear. Maybe it was because of lack of faith. Maybe he didn't know what the future was. Maybe he, he thought that if they found out about me being associated with him, I'm going to be next on the cross. I don't know what, what Peter was thinking. But you know what Peter did? Denied. Failed. Epic failure. You know, Peter didn't just do it once. You know, maybe he started to justify He's like, hey, maybe that wasn't really denying him. Uh, that probably wasn't what Jesus was saying. Like, like, I'm good. I didn't like completely betray him. You know, sometimes in our own failures, we justify our actions. Maybe Peter says, oh, Jesus probably would have understood. Like he, when he said that, did he really know that like all this was going to be happening? Did he really know the kind of awkward situation I may be, be in? It's not like I meant to. He says, and when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto him, that were, the fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied with an oath. He doubled down. He says, no, I do not know the man. Whew. You ever started walking down the wrong path to the point where you're like, well, I can't turn back now. It's funny how that's how sin works. We say maybe we step one way in the wrong direction. We maybe dabble a little bit in sin, but then it gets to the point where it's just like, I can't. It's kind of like with little kids that lie. You ever had a little kid lie to your face? And then, they, 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 then you catch them and then they, they make another lie and it's just all so far-fetched. You know, that's what my daughter's looking at. She's like, I've been there, right? <laughs> And then you, you, you lie and you're like, well, 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 I didn't really mean that. It actually was this. And then they get all upset. And then they're like, well, well, I can't tell the truth now because I just need to keep lying and keep lying and keep lying. I feel like Peter maybe got in that situation. He's like, well, I denied over there. And then if I say it to this person and say the truth then, then it might get to them and they might get upset with me. Hey, here's the truth here. Peter was more worried about the people around him and how they thought of him rather than of how Jesus thought of him. Hey, do we make decisions in our life? Do we weigh our decisions more of what other people, maybe our friends, our coworkers, our neighbors, we make decisions based on how, what they think of us rather than, hey, I want to make sure that what, I want to I make decisions based on what Jesus thinks of me. Hey, I, I want to make a decision that, that when Jesus looks at me, he, 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 he loves me and, and, and he's proud of me rather than making my neighbor proud of me or having a status. I think Peter completely forgot, hey, I want to I please my Savior. 